Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rachel Williams, and today I'll be presenting my research proposal on the evaluation of the effectiveness of the air cavity correction parameter in Eclipse Akira's 15.6 algorithm for radiotherapy treatment planning of prostate patients. Before we begin, I'd like to thank my supervisors, Mashid and Pedjman. Uh, overview of what I'll be saying is start with some background on both the Eclipse Akira's XB algorithm and the effect of air cavities for prostate cancer radiotherapy. I'll go over my aims, research maps, and significance, and some key publications. The Eclipse Akira's XB algorithm is a part of the Varian Eclipse treatment planning system. It's used to predict dose distributions to patients receiving external beam photon radiotherapy, which it does by solving the linear Boltzmann transport equation nu numerically in order to account for various heterogeneities, including air, bone, lung, and implants. So the close proximity of the rectum to the prostate means that air cavities may be present when a patient is CT'd for treatment planning. Uh, these air cavities may not necessarily be present when the treatment is delivered, especially because the treatment will be delivered in multiple fractions. Uh, the attenuation of primary photons through air is less than in tissue due to its lower density, which results in less scattering of secondary particles and less dose delivered to the target volume. Um, the size of the air cavity during delivery will therefore um, affect the dose distribution. To the patient, a smaller air cavity may result in an underdose to the planning treatment volume and an overdose to surrounding organs. A method used in some treatment planning systems to counteract this is to assign a density to the air cavity, which is midway between air and tissue. The Eclipse Acura's 15.6 algorithm which is currently used at Sir Charles Gardner Hospital, has an inbuilt feature for air cavity correction, which can be used as an alternative method to deal with air cavities near the planning treatment volume. The aim of my project will be to evaluate the use of this parameter for prostate cancer patients receiving radiotherapy by comparing it to assigning a midway density to the air cavity. Uh, my research will have three phases. The first is to produce a 3D printed pelvis phantom, which will be anthropomorphic, including various organs like the prostate, bladder, and rectum. Some considerations are the rectum will need to simulate various air cavity sizes, which may be done either using a balloon or by 3D printing um, multiple rectums with different um, air cavity sizes. Um, both radiochromic film and ion chamber inserts will need to be in the phantom as the dose distribution will be measured by the field and the absolute dose by an ion chamber. The second phase is the treatment plan and delivery to the phantom. Our treatment plan will be created by assigning a density midway between air and tissue to the cavity and another using the air cavity correction parameter. Both of these will be delivered by a Varian Linux for various air cavity sizes. The last phase is the comparison of results. The dose measured by the film in the phantom um, will be compared to the dose predicted by the Eclipse algorithm. And the both of these for the two treatment plans will be compared to evaluate the effectiveness of the air cavity correction parameter. Um, Prostate cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer in men in Australia, and it has the second highest mortality rate. 7,993 men receive radiotherapy treatment for prostate cancer between 2016 and 2017, which accounted for 25.8% of radiotherapy courses for men. Um, ensuring that the optimal treatment plan is delivered to a patient can both can improve treatment outcomes and prevent uh, side effects from treatment. By evaluating the air cavity correction parameter, we can ensure that it's the optimal treatment to give the patient the best chance of recovery. The Eclipse Acurus 15.6 algorithm used at Charlie's is going to be upgraded in a few months to the Eclipse Acurus 16.1 algorithm. After this time, it will no longer be possible to access the older algorithm, which means there will be limited time to measure results. 
Um, so there was no papers in the literature on the evaluation of the air cavity correction parameter in a curious for prostate patients. However, a paper by Khan et al. evaluated the air cavity correction parameter in ProVersion 10, rapid arc planning, by um, comparing using the parameter to not using it on both a virtual phantoms and 12 um, nasopharyngeal carcinoma patients and 12 non-small cell lung cancer carcinoma patients. Um, they compared the predicted doses to find that it was beneficial for large volumes of low density media, but it made no improvement on the plan quality for small volumes of both high and low density media. Um, papers by El Shabini et al. and Rana et al. Um, evaluated the accuracy of the Acurus XB algorithm version 10 for um, by measuring the predicted dose, I mean comparing the predicted dose to the measured dose. Um, El Shabini et al. used um, it to determine the accuracy at the tissue air interface in nasopharynx and lung regions. Um, using thermo TLDs and they found that there was a 0.6% difference in the lung region and a 0.04% difference in the nasopharynx region. Rana et al. measured the accuracy in a solid water phantom with an air gap to determine its accuracy beyond the air gap using an ion chamber. Um, most percentage differences were within 1%, however, larger percentage differences of negative 3.81% were found at the closest measurements to the interface at one centimetre for larger air gaps and smaller field sizes. Um, my project will be somewhat of a combination of these papers where I will be comparing using the air cavity correction to not using it performance, but I will also be doing it by comparing predicted and measured doses. So my references. Thanks for listening. Any questions? I don't know yet. I will learn throughout the project. Yes. <laughs> um, so the 16.1 algorithm has an option to use GPU for optimization instead of CPU. Um, GPU which changes the algorithm and the option for air cavity correction is no longer available. Um, it's not decided yet at Charlie's whether GPU or CPU will be used. If CPU is used, the study is also valid for 16.1, but if not, it's not. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, correction? Yeah. Has that been done before? Or been I done? believe it was used um, before. Standards by AAPM were within 3%. I'm not sure if we aim to be more accurate at Charlie's or not. 